Hey everyone, Rob Maximum RD back again, and kind of a video I thought I'd put together at the last minute. Uh, a while back, I had made a video about all my Commodore Amiga computer and CD32 console cover discs from magazines that I would get from magazines like uh, CU Amiga, Amiga Format, of course. Um, and other various Amiga and CD32 magazines would have a cover disc mounted um, and I made a video on that and uh, they were great back in the day because you would get all kinds of software and not everyone including myself with an Amiga computer was actually on the internet and or whatever access I did have to the internet was either limited by uh, time or money Yes, folks, there was a time where it was actually quite costly to be on the internet. Um, and also, of course, downloading speed and so forth. Uh, so the idea of receiving a magazine that had tons of demos and public domain and shareware and trial software, so on and so forth, was actually quite, uh, quite useful for the time. Um, and then since then, Unfortunately, the habit carried over uh, once I got into the PC platform. The habit carried over, and I would buy magazines, and I would pay that uh, you know buck or two more to get the magazine that actually came with a cover-mounted CDs. Uh, kind of silly looking back on it now, because really, for the most part, uh, I rarely actually used any of the software that came with it. Silly, I know. Um, just uh, a lot of bad <laughs> judgment uh, from the time period um, but you know for whatever reason there you have it uh, on our trip out here uh, to BC I had stopped by my uncle's place and actually dropped off a box of cover discs like this um, and I think this is basically what I've accumulated since and some of them might have been the leftovers that I that I simply held on to for one reason or another. So let's just take a look, basic look through some of these to give you an idea. Oh, actually, some of the, oh, this one, actually, this game, Sacrifice. There we go, Sacrifice. That came with uh, my, my mother, or sorry, was it my motherboard? No, it was my graphics card at this time. It was an MSI brand graphics card. And uh, it came with this games collection. Here, sacrifice, and what else is on there? I'm not even sure. That's one, oh, sacrifice, and what's that other game? Can't tell by the label. Hmm, interesting. Multimedia games collection. I'm not sure what else is on there. Okay, so let's continue. This is from a PC Plus magazine, Easy Media. Uh, oh, it's obviously from the UK. As you can tell, the uh, the pricing here on the software as sold for sixty nine pounds, as sold for fourteen pounds, as sold for forty two pounds. Don't think I actually used any of these programs. Most of these I would load up once, try them one or two times, and you know then install something better. <laughs> Your complete covery. Retool or your complete recovery toolkit 51 essential programs on this month's CD, including five full apps. Well, there you go. PC Answers. <laughs> yeah, oh, here's another one of the games that came bundled with that graphics card Aquinox. Aquinox. <laughs> I should try installing some of these now. Not sure how they'll run under Windows 7 64 bit, but uh, another one from the UK here. Fully working software, 590 pounds worth of software. Wow, what a bargain, eh? Came on a magazine that I probably paid about $22 Canadian for. <laughs> yeah, they're expensive. And uh, I bought way too many of these magazines that came with these cover discs. But. Uh, yeah, I had a habit of buying a lot of magazines with cover discs, even if I didn't actually use them. Not sure why. <laughs> Music Maker 6, 
special edition, 30, 30 pounds worth. Yeah, that is from PC Format Magazine, another UK magazine. Yeah, I think my love of UK magazines, um, you know, spilled over from all the great uh, Commodore, uh, Amiga, and CD32 magazines. Recover My Files, full version is sold for 40 pounds. Actually, looking through these now, Tron 2.0, uh, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. Actually, looking through these now, it would be interesting to see how well some of these uh, still run and load on my Windows 7 64-bit machine. 638 megabyte utility packed CD-ROM of demos, shareware, and freeware. Wow, that's from PC Essentials magazine. PC Essentials. Interesting. Ultimate Collection, essential programs for all PC users. CD includes freeware, shareware, and demo software. Wow, there we go. Let's see if I can get some information. What is that from? Paragon Publishing Limited. Interesting. Essentials, the best in PC software. Faber Toys 2.3. Net Security. Add Aware 5.0. <laughs> Game of the Month. Icy Towers. MP3, get your PC speakers pumping with Winamp. <laughs> wow. Well, actually, you know what? A lot of these probably actually gave me my first taste of a, a lot of these programs that we used and uh, have uh, much higher versions of today. So, 50 programs per section of Essentials, Windows XP, Internet, Music, Games, and Graphics. Wow. Another PC Essentials magazine, cover disc. Let's have a quick peek at what one of these typical discs would look like. There we go. Oh, issue 9. But it's funny with, uh, well, I know on eBay I often see some of the Amiga cover discs still go for quite a bit. I rarely ever see um, PC magazine cover discs. I'm not sure there's any value in them simply because PC software is so abundant and uh, <clears throat> easily accessible nowadays. I'm not sure there's any value to these cover discs. I mean, yeah, there was some uh, full software included on some of them. A lot of it, though, was just trial software or older versions of software. PC Utilities, 505 great programs. <laughs> That's interesting. 518 unmissable programs. Well, there you go. Complete listings inside. Another PC Utilities disk. Okay. Most of these are all the same, just the text on the cover telling you how much is included? Oh, this one's two CDs, 1.3 gigabyte, hundreds of free programs, all new collection. 1,001 top programs, PC Utilities. So we'll get past the PC Utilities disks because they all look pretty much the same. <laughs> and uh, let's see what, what else we have here. Ah, okay, well, now we're talking. Of course, not to anyone's surprise. I actually have a spindle somewhere around with a ton of maximum PC cover discs. But uh, here, these ones are all in your uh, cardboard sleeve type. PC Gamer CDs. So I have tons. Look at that. It's March 2004. Um, I'm not going to go through every single one, obviously. That would be silly. Um, let's see. Get a better view here. Up oh, September 2004. Let's get ahead a bit. Star Wars Republic Commando. That's from Computer Gaming World. Look at that. The Moment of Silence. Computer Gaming World. Ah, Gabriel Knight. The full original Hall of Fame game from Sierra. 
That's from Computer Gaming World, 2001, disc number two. Ah, Dusex, Dusex Computer Gaming World, September 2000. <laughs> now we're going back a bit. I do have some older ones in these sleeves here, I know that. 200th issue of Computer Gaming World. Wow. More than 30 classic games and demos. I wonder how many of these will still run. <laughs> ah, I wonder how many of these will choke on 64-bit uh, Windows 7. Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30. Play it now. PC Gamer CD, August 2005. So again, yeah, I don't... Pariah. I don't really know... Uh, you know, I don't think they hold much value, these old PC cover discs. I mean, I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know if they mean anything to anyone. Freedom Force, the Third Reich. I don't know if they mean anything to anyone or if anyone collects them. They're just sitting in a box here. But uh, yeah, this is part of my shakedown going through my collection. Just thought I'd throw this on a video for you to look at. Yeah, you know, if you have some comment or something you like to say, do a video response. Maybe some of you do collect these. I don't know. If you do, show me your collection. I'd love to see it. There you go. Star Wars Galaxies 10 Day Trial. 2006, February 2006, PC Gamer. What about it? Do any of you collect cover discs like this? I collected them. Um, not with any hope of, you know, getting a complete collection or anything like that. Just my buying habits. May 2006, Battlefield 2142. First in-game footage. I think... You know, it would be cool maybe if uh, any of these actually contain uh, a demo or, uh, you know, uh, definitely if it's a playable demo uh, of something that maybe was never released or got cancelled or maybe ended up having some kind of uh, change in name or design. But uh, I, I couldn't tell you if that's the case. I certainly don't have the time <laughs> to go through most of these. Uh, oh, look at that. Max Payne. <laughs> Play the demo and see what we're raving about. December 2001. PC Gamer Disc 7.9. Ah, Aliens vs. Predator 2. PC Gamer Holiday 2001. Amazing. Freedom Force. Well, I won't go through all of these. Uh, I just want to give you a good sample. PC Gamer. 12 complete games plus... The Day Katana demo. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. I don't know. Maybe that makes it a collector's item. July 2000 PC Gamer. Uh, I, I would assume most of these are all actually in, in pristine co uh, condition too. They've just been sitting in the shoebox. Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Yeah, I would love, I would love to know. Wish I had the time and uh, energy. <laughs> to see if any of these games actually ended up having a name change or were never released or anything like that. I don't know. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. Let me grab a different section here. Oh, there we go. There's some Maximum PC. I know I actually have a big spindle of Maximum PC discs once they stopped putting them in these sleeves and it just started... Uh, having the bare disc in a real flimsy uh, cardboard insert. Um, Psychonauts, game demo. Cool. <laughs> I, could, I could see a little bit why I was, uh, uh, you know, sold on picking these up, just to see all these great covers and artwork and the suffering. See, so ties that bind. That's something I would have looked at and go, ooh, cool. I definitely got to check out that demo. October 2005. That's funny. Age of Empires. See, this this is a perfect example. I I am not a real time strategy kind of uh, gamer. I have no interest in the genre. I just don't like it. I would never play it. So why did I insist on getting the magazine with this disc? I don't know. <laughs> 
Although I will admit, some genres that I don't like, uh, through the years I did try them over and over and over to convince myself that I don't like them. <laughs> Everyone seems to love these games, why don't I? So I'll try it again and figure out, well, I guess pe different people like different things. I just don't like that genre. So, I think I have a little more obscure one here. Oh, Extreme Tech. Extreme Tech. Extreme CD Volume 1. Rated X for Extreme Tech. I don't think that magazine lasted very long. So this might be cool. This is the kind of disc I would probably hold on to just because the magazine didn't last very long. Here's some IDOS or EDOS or IDOS demos. Oh, well, I've got several Tomb Raider games, Final Fantasy, Gangsters, Tomb Raider 3. What magazine is this from? Can't even tell. Hmm. Let's take a peek at the disc. Must be some indication. Make a liar out of me. All right. Hmm. I still don't know. Okie doke. Whatever. Oh, well, here's an odd one. Booster PC's Performance Ultra Wind Cleaner 2000. Oh, another UK magazine, as we can tell by the pricing on there. £29.99, pounds including VAT. Including VAT. Oh, PC Magazine. Interesting. September 2002. Must be the uh, UK version of it. Interesting. Ultimate rescue cd the ultimate rescue cd the only disc you need when disaster strikes yeah there we go pc utilities issue 28 yeah just grab a couple more random here ultimate internet toolbox 40 great tools from pc world magazine uh and what one more rainbow six three and Raven Shield on this Maximum PC disc. Wow, there you have it. Oh, well, here's a burnt copy of Norton Internet Security 2004. Yeah, I think I can throw that one away. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, here's another burnt CD. What's this one? Tons of 8-bit Sega Master System ROMs. Approximately 100 ROMs for PlayStation. Uh, interesting. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, and from General Mills Serial, we have this uh, disc, Winnie the Pooh. You can get a good the view there. Winnie the Pooh. Print Studio. Disney Print Studio. General Mills. Came in a box of cereal. GameStar. GameStar. Another short-lived magazine, I believe. GameStar CD 1001. Well, again, I think the ones that, uh, magazines that may no longer be in print or had a short run to begin with, might be interesting to hold on to those discs, so many top applications. Um, oh, Mac Answers. Yeah, I actually had a few, uh, a couple cover uh, discs for Mac computers. Um, before I got into the whole PC thing, I was for a very brief short time considering getting into Apple computers and uh, but you know after some research uh, yeah I ended up being more of a PC guy so never happened never owned a Mac if I ever owned an Apple product I'm sure it'll be an Apple IIe or something along those lines well that's it I just thought I'd give you a look through a bunch of uh, PC cover discs and CDs these are all CDs, no DVDs here, I believe. Um, yeah, just I'll put them all back in the box and not sure what I'll end up doing with them in the long run. Uh, that's the thing with, you know, a shoebox full of discs like this. It's not something, you know, I would really want to ship, especially too far. Uh, just the cost would, for shipping would probably be more than what any of this is worth. So... What will I do in in the long run? I don't know. Uh, maybe every time I make a trade with someone or, you know, uh, I'm sending, shipping something off, uh, 
to someone some kind of deal or swap or contest to give away I'll be doing more of those in the future for sure maybe I'll just include one or two discs in the box I'll pay that little few cents of uh, extra shipping for the discs and someone else can get them and who knows either they'll they'll throw it away or give it away or do something with it I don't know but uh, we'll see all right thanks for watching uh, Rob Maximum Marty out and see you next time